natural hair care haul. And welcome to my massive natural hair care haul. Um, I'm gonna get right into it because I have a shitload of stuff. I have stuff laid out. I have stuff in this um, bag here. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way. I am not getting paid to do this video. I just wanted to share some things with you guys that I love that I repurchased and some new things that I'm going to be trying out here. On All my right. Channel. So the first things that I'm going to show you are clays. Now I do see a lot of naturalistas using clays. I've never tried them and I was just like, mm, I'll give it a try. I didn't know which ones to use. So I started doing research, um, on the clays to see which ones would be more suitable for my hair. Uh, based on the experiences of the other people that use them. So I decided to get the sodium bentonite clay and um, the rasul or gasul clay. Um, people pronounce it differently uh, depending on where they're from. And I found out later on that these clays can be used for your skin as well as like uh, facials, um, masks, uh, cleansers because the clays detox your skin as well as your hair um in your scalp uh the clays are supposed to do that and they're supposed to give you the maximum you know, moisture. people were just like pretty much get these clays because they cleanse your scalp and your hair and once you rinse them out your curls are like never before like so much moisture now, you may see a lot of people using the Aztec clay. That's the most popular one, the um, Aztec Indian healing clay, I think it's called. And I decided to get the sodium bentonite clay because a lot of people were saying that this one is better for the hair. I'm not exactly sure the skin, but they said this one was better for the hair. The next thing I got is the lemongrass essential oil. And the reason why I got this oil, I've never tried it before. Uh, the reason why I got it is because this is one of the oils that I've seen a lot of people put in the clays. Uh, so I just decided I like to try it. it. Now, disclaimer. I know you noticed that I am not showing product brands. The reason why I am not showing the company that uh, is selling the product is because... If I have a bad reaction to it, I don't want you guys to be like, okay, it's the company. It may just be the clay or the oil because I've never tried them before. So I'm not going to show the company. I will link them down below. Everything shown in this video will be linked down below um, so that you can purchase. And that is at your own risk. I've never tried those products before. And yeah, that's a disclaimer on that moving right along. The next thing was like my OG back when I did my big chop. The Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla hydrating leave-in conditioner for dry dull brittle hair i do not know what possessed me to stop using this but when i used it just recently i fell in love with it again is the as i am classic so much moisture hydrating lotion i am on the hairlicious castor oil challenge girl and hairlicious on instagram val is um swearing by this every video that i've seen from her she has this this is all over her instagram and i was just like i like as i am as a brand yeah it's like a serum and i just love it i'm not even gonna waste this and put this right in my hair because this stuff is the truth i use this and woke up the next morning dry, like it felt hair. like as if my hair was still wet but it was dry when it says so much moisture, they ain't never lied. The next thing that I have was gifted to me by my mom. She's so great with this hair care journey that I'm on. She's always like, yeah, you know, you should try this. I heard about this. I was looking it up. Um, so this is the Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel Extra Hold with Honey Extract. And it says it's good for natural hair. I've been seeing a lot of girls use this when they're doing their protective styles, whether it's twist braids um, with Kanekalon hair or Marley hair, whatever. And I had the purple one. 
this smells so good i had the purple one and it was four ounces and i thought my mom was gonna get me this because she was like oh and she was showing it to me in the camera and i didn't realize how big it was because my mom has small hands so i just thought that the product was just you know big in her hand because she has small hands but when she gave it to me i'm like ma this is 16 whole ounces like how often do you think i braid my hair so this is gonna last me forever um like i said the purple one that i had i didn't like the way it smelled and it was four ounces it was regular hold so this is extra hold and i'll try this out because other naturalistas love it so yeah we're gonna try this out and see how that goes because i don't really put stuff with extra hold in perm rods because when i tell you 2020 the naturalistas have been slaying perm rods like these i thought were only used for your grandma or ends of your protective style when you want your connecticalon to do it a little curly or you, you. i did not know that you could put these in your natural hair because i have the small ones for when i do my protective styles i was like you could put that in your natural hair and be flawless like that like your curls would really do that like really um the ones that i have already is gray and yellow uh so those ain't gonna work because I have too much hair. So I got these because they're bigger. And I got 80 for I don't know how much. So it's 10 in each pack. And so 40 of these, 40 of these. A lot of body with coconut and shea oils wrap me foaming mousse. Because I've seen a lot of uh, naturalistas use this. It does smell good. I opened it to smell it. It smells amazing. I've never tried anything from Lotta Body, so this is going to be my first time trying anything from this company. Some cute uh, microfiber bands. I just got these because I see a lot of girls put these on their hair when they're doing their makeup to protect their edges. So I just got these. I know there's people that have the ones with the ears. Joyco k pack deep penetrating reconstructor and this is for damaged hair it smells so good and yeah so i got this now moving on to this huge huge bag oh god i got um 60 hair scrunchies and i got this because of the glam twins they always have these cute scrunchies in their hair and their silk and i could not find them anywhere when i did find them in like clothing stores like zara h&m they were like super expensive like you get three for like 14 dollars, and i was just like who what nah so I got these and they just come in a bunch of different colors. So yeah, and they're super duper soft. So I like those. The next thing that I got, you can blame the Glam Twins as well. <laughs> because Kelsey used the Red Can All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner to wash and condition her hair before she did her blowout and this is supposed to be like really really moisturizing for the hair it does have protein in it it does say protein complex but it's supposed to be moisturizing and make your hair soft as well as strong um you know during the washing and conditioning process so i got that to try out for when I do my blowout in January. I cannot wait to see how long my hair has gotten since doing this challenge. She also used the Joyco K-Pack Hydrator Intense Treatment. The packaging is different. So if you go and watch her video, um, the packaging is just all gold. Um, but they changed the packaging, but the formula is still the same. So that's supposed to be like an intense treatment for dry damaged hair so got that i also got the kenra platinum blow dry spray 
and this is supposed to be sprayed onto your hair to blow dry your hair faster that's what she said so i got that to try out she said it smells good but i haven't sprayed it to smell it because it's expensive um the next thing that i got because of her <laughs> is uh the red can of course as you can see she loves red can um extreme anti-snap anti-breakage leave-in treatment so she put this on her hair as a leave-in when she did um her blowout so i got yet and these are supposed to be pretty much the lawn brand now another disclaimer if you watched a few of my other videos then you know that i don't support this brand 100 percent fully i wasn't happy with you know a couple of things that they did and you know i just it's that's a story for another day but i decided to go ahead and purchase this just to see how my hair would come out so it's a little weird for me because it's like i don't want to support the brand but i wanted to try this out because i love the way her blowout came out and then me purchasing the product is supporting the brand because i'm putting money in their pockets and how i justified it to myself was well there's probably a beautiful african-american male or female that is working for the company and my little coin is going to go into their paycheck so that they can feed their children and their children can grow up and go to college and change the world and the future for us that's what i told myself keep your comments to yourself thank you so this is the shea moisture sugar cane extract and metal foam seed silicone free miracle styler leave-in with marshmallow root that is a long ass title shea moisture i'm gonna need you to just simplify that just a little bit bring it down a notch um but she used this as her leave-in as well uh with the anti-snap because she said this made her hair feel so soft and moisturized. Oh my gosh, she wasn't lying when she said it smelled good. Shea Moisture usually gets it right with the scents. So, yeah, that's enough about that. It's a leave-in. I'm going to try it um, when I do my blowout. Um, since I was purchasing, you know... <clears throat> Amazon Walgreens and they had the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie buy one get one free so I said I'm already biting the bullet by buying from the Shea Moisture brand so I might as well just dive right on in so I got it and I've been using it I've been using it. I haven't been enjoying it, but I've been using it. And I feel like it smells different than what it smelled like when I used to use it years ago. I think the last time I used this was probably 2016 when they kind of disappointed me. Um, yeah. So that's on that. I've been using that. Mayel mongongo oil hydrating conditioner this i saw um values as well hairlicious here on youtube and on instagram and um i said i wanted to try it for my wash day and then amazon did not deliver it on time this smells so good. It smells like a perfume. It smells like Chloe. It smells so good. But, um, oh, I didn't even show you guys the consistency. Ooh, don't you dare. But it is a hydrating conditioner. So I was going to use it as a 
deep conditioner and it does say that it's protein free and it does say that it's supposed to give you intense hydration so we're gonna see about that i was a little disappointed in the size it is eight fluid ounces and i was just like all right my yo you're a black owned brand geared towards the naturalistas if this was geared towards the people with TWAs, just say that. Because they can take like a scoop full of this and they'll be good with this for about four or five D conditions. What about us with the long hair? Like, do you have a bigger size? Because I couldn't find it. I, I, you, because this might just be one side of my head and then I'm going to be very upset. Like... I probably would have to mix this with another conditioner to go ahead and reap the benefits because they might say, oh, just see, a little bit goes a long way. Right. Right. That is the As I Am Curling Jelly, and I got this on my own. <laughs> it wasn't recommended in any way to me. I decided to get it because, like I said, I love the brand. And since i use most of their products i figured for my wash and go that this would be a good gel or jelly to use because you know i'm using other products from the brand and they should work well i mean that's how it usually works uh so this is what it looks like it's giving me flaxseed gel um i didn't look at the ingredients yet because I do trust as I am. But it's definitely giving me flaxseed. It does have glycerin in it. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, yeah, no, I don't see any flaxseed without my glasses, of course. I'll read it later, but I don't see any flaxseed. But as you can see, the consistency reminds me of flaxseed uh gel flexi rods i was a little disappointed when i got this because i have a lot of hair and these are a little short because you're supposed to wrap and then bend so i was just like okay what if i wanted to do the horseshoe method these are kind of short so yeah i really do like the look of the perm rods and then I do the flexi rods. I guess you just have to know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, everyone that does their perm rods, they just be, whoo, them curls be on. Whoo, yes. So I'll try this out and let you guys know how I like it. Because the first time that I tried flexi rods, I think was in high school in girl. Ultra fail. Was my hair healthy? No. Nope. Vitamin E oil. I'm not showing the brand for the same reason that I said in the beginning. Um, but yeah, vitamin E oil. And I put this in my oil mixes. So yeah. The next things that I got are all tools. And then we're all done. We're done. So I did go ahead and this was so gimmicky, but I fell into the trap. Um, I got a scalp massager. It does not vibrate. Um, so I got this to go ahead and after I do my, um, oiling of my scalp with my Jamaican black castor oil mix, I'll just go ahead and use this. As you can see, it does have oil on it. And that's because I used it last night. yeah it was amazing i already have people asking me where did i get it from so yeah i just had to incorporate that into the video because i was just like all right whatever i'll buy it because some of the things that the natural hair community promotes and talks about and hypes up you just like girl stop ain't nobody buying that but i bought this and just doing this to my hand is so relaxing. Like, it feels so good when you do your scalp massages. Like, and a lot of people use this to shampoo their hair, too. So, 
when they lather before they rinse they'll use this to go ahead and massage the scalp it promotes um, blood flow to the scalp which in turn promotes hair growth so yeah that's that and then it also breaks up the dandruff on your scalp and the oils so yeah that is that um i also got the conair velvet touch detangler brush paddle brush because my paddle brush broke and so i needed another one the other one was by conair too so hopefully this one don't break but i do have thick coarse hair so it might um it this part came off like the part that with the teeth came out and the brush was still intact but that part came out and I tried to glue it back it was a mess so I just got rid of it and got another one the I don't know where this came from I think this came with the oh this came with the scrunchies to do like cute ponytail styles and I was just like, all right, sis. Um, the next thing I got was the Diane Rake Comb. And yeah, it's just a rake comb. Um, the next thing that I have, which I was super excited about, is my curl cap. It is an official curl cap. And she has her patents. Super excited to go ahead and get this. Because if you don't know me, then you don't know me. But if you do, you know that I love hats. So it's satin lines on the inside so that you don't have hat hair when you take it off. And then the back has a pretty much like a silk scrunchie that holds the hat in place so that... Um, it's not pulling or tugging or snagging at your hair the way a snapback would. And yeah, it's pretty much half a hat. And um, it lets your curls flow freely um, instead of stuffing them through that little hole of the snapback. Another thing that I'm super excited about having are my length check t-shirts you guys know that i am on a journey to waist length so i purchased some length check t-shirts with my youtube logo i'm super geeked about this you guys like oh my god sorry it's wrinkle but it has um the numbers on the back so of course we're trying to get past 20 but it goes up to 20 and y'all i put it on my instagram i put it on and showed you guys what it looked like guys, i am super excited about this like look at my youtube banner sitting on my boobs like i think my hair is at maybe 11 or 12. i can't wait till it's at 20. oh my god like i'm super excited about this like i don't think y'all understand I don't think y'all understand. I cannot wait to straighten my hair. Like, come on, January. But I'm super duper excited about this shirt. I got more than one. So, yeah, I'm super excited about having that. So, yeah, this long video is done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys try some of these things out. Leave in the comment section if you've tried any of this and let me know how it worked for you and yeah just hit me up let me know and i'll see you guys in a, another video oh also thank you so much to everyone who's liked commented and subscribed and i'll see you guys in the next one